Hello, I'm Pastor Jerry Davis, and welcome to Power Surge Wednesday. Today, I would like to talk with you about the power of encouragement. Do you know that we have the ability to brighten up one's day simply by speaking words of encouragement? We live in a world filled with feelings of helplessness, anxiety and fears, desperation, Sometimes this is just perceived and oftentimes it's actually reality. The famed actress Audrey Hepburn once said, people, even more than things, have to be restored, renewed, revived, reclaimed, and many redeemed. Never dismiss or throw out anyone. Did you know in 2 Peter 3 and 9, it pretty much states the same thing? God said that it's not his will that any man should perish. In other words, he says, I didn't make any disposable people. You know, it is God's will that all men repent, receive the encouraging word of his gospel and live. Did you know most people can be won, delivered, healed with simply an encouraging word? Psalms 109 and 20 says he sent his word and he healed them and to deliver them from their destruction. Proverbs 25 and 11, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pitchers of silver. And of course, Proverbs 15, 23, a man has joy in giving an appropriate answer. And how good and delightful is a word spoken in the right moment. Yes, it is no doubt that an encouraging word lifts the soul. I also agree with the famous poet Maya Angelou who said, you know, most people will forget what you did. Many people will even forget what you said. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Now, I'm telling you, that's the power of encouragement. When, William, excuse me, when Benjamin West, the great American painter, was a young boy, he attempted to draw a picture of his sister, but he only succeeded in making a big mess. His mother happened to be walking by. She saw his creation. She paused. She mused. She bent over him and she kissed him on his head and she remarked, why, that's your sister Sally. Mr. West would go on to say, that it was that kiss that his mother gave him that day that made him the great American artist who works now hangs in the American Smithsonian Art Museum. Encouragement is a powerful thing. One of the Apostle Paul's companion in the New Testament was a man named Barnabas. He was known as an encourager of the people of God. Barnabas put others first especially in providing encouragement and exhortation. His example reminds us that Christian, that Christian service is primarily not about us, but about those whom the Spirit directs us to serve. Regardless of the circumstance, or circumstances and how we may feel, the Spirit empowers us to console those who are demoralized and implore those who are wavering in the faith. Listen to me, child of God. If a word of encouragement could turn a sloppy painter into a world-renowned artist, just think of all of the circumstances and situations it could transform around your house. Remember, self-transformation starts at home first. I'm Pastor Jerry. May God continue to bless you.